Dun, 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 dun. It's not Taco Tuesday, it's Taco Thursday. Time to paint the tacos today. We got enchiladas and chimichangas. And time to make the tacos with maximum effort. Bam. Hello everybody, welcome to Atomic Mass Transmissions Live. I'm your host, Dallas. And today we're getting back into the action on our taco truck. It comes with our uh, Deadpool and Hydra Bob. Um, oh man, did I really put my Deadpool away? Both my Deadpools. They're all the way over on the other side of the room. That's okay. We're paying up tacos. Um, I got my taco truck. If you joined in uh, last two weeks ago, I started working on the taco truck. We did some highlighting. We did some shading. Um, we started working on the window. The window got out of control. Why do we do that? I don't know. Um, we, we were having fun. Um, so today I want to go over like uh, some of the stainless steel siding. Maybe the chalkboard. Hopefully the chalkboard. We can do some fun stuff on the chalkboard. Um, so I'll be taking your request on what we should put on our chalkboard. And uh, some details just to give your taco truck some life. And then maybe at the very, very end, I got the tiniest plate of tacos with a refreshing soft drink. And we'll paint that up. So instead of me yammering on, I'm just going to get to painting. And then we'll talk about all the other cool stuff later. So let me switch it over to the camera. Boom, taco truck. He's doing a wheeling. So we got our taco truck. And this is where we left it. Let me put that over like that. So we worked on some windows. We worked on some highlights on the black. And we went a little crazy on the taco window. Um, but that's okay. Sometimes you just want to have a little, five, a little fun. How is everybody doing today? Hopefully you're painting along, joining in, and just enjoying. Staying safe. So we did a little bit on this uh, chalkboard. I'm going to add a little more black. I'm going to use my second brush to kind of give like a gradient. The big thing for that is I want the, the I want that really dark area so it feels like a chalkboard, but I want it very a little lighter in the center mass to kind of give some variation. So as you see, I just pull that black out like that. This paint's not been watered down. I mean, it's on a wet palette, but. Soften that blend. I wish I had tacos too, Dersum. Like, boy oh boy, I do love taco day. There's a taco truck near the office um, when we're not practicing social distancing and working more in the office. Um, Pagani and I like to go to sometimes for lunch. I believe Schick has been there a few times as well. Uh, our intrepid one Mr. Josh Cologne has joined us for those tacos and they're good tacos. Yeah, let's uh let's start taking some ideas. What do we want to put on our menu here? If you look at the if you look at the studio truck, um I painted the studio taco truck and that um had a lot of fun coming up with all the little taco uh menu items and prices. Those are Seattle prices by the way. Um and some like I think it's got little hearts and ribbons. So what what do we want to put on this chalkboard? I'm going to dry brush some wheels. I'm just going to use a light gray. I'm not going to do anything fancy. I don't care if it gets on the hubcaps. We'll we'll add some silver to those hubcaps. Just going like a little circular motion. Breakfast tacos, I love breakfast tacos. I mean, breakfast food is the best food. Assassination, that's funny. That's a good idea, Greg. We do the, we do the taco chimichanga assassinations. It's 
It's like the scene from Caddyshack 2 with uh, Dan Aykroyd. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Reve oh my gosh. Yeah, Revenge Tacos Cold Heal Over Time. That's a great idea. Is there feedback or is it just a buzz because I got 80 lights all around me? Vanilla soup. I am, uh, I am doing, uh, the stream from my house, so. Yeah, it's probably my computer, too. I got the, everything turned off, though. So it shouldn't be feedback. Oh, buzz, yeah. Yeah, I'm 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 doing it from my house. I'm not in a studio. I'm here all alone. So uh, I set up the the stuff myself, and I got 80 lights all around me because I I paint with a lot of light. I like having a lot of light. Um, it helps me see, of course. That's what light does. Um, But I'm sure the microphone does pick it up. I got the I got a really good mic. Bob's extra spicy. I like that one. Make it spicy, Bob. My favorite r rule name, I think, of anything in uh, Crisis Protocol is make it spicy, Bob. I just I think that that rule name is so funny. You can just hear Deadpool saying it. Make it spicy, Bob. And Bob whips out that giant rocket launcher and just lets go with that heckin' big blast. Yeah, muy caliente. Funny license plate. I think the uh, uh, the studio one, if I remember right, the front says pools and the back one says tacos. Yeah, see, Atomic Mask got my back. The buzz is just, it's just, uh, it's just a texture. Big Bad Andy, what's up? Joining in. Yeah, incorporating some rules names into my, into my uh, menu would be really good. So if, uh, any of my compatriots wants to send me a list of rule names that I can use. I need a list of approved rule names. Future releases for Marvel Crisis Protocol put on the chalkboard. I like the way Wampa Stomp is thinking today. See, if you get spoilers now, though, and then we make a, another cool video, you'll be like, but we already knew that. And we'll be like, yeah, but we had to make a video. Side of Tactical Rocks. I'm in. So I've added a little white to my gray and I'm doing a very light dry brush just to make those wheels pop. I love making the wheels pop. Just gotta give them some, make them spicy, right? I want them wheels to kind of pop out. Show up, give them some zias. Tactical tacos. Okay, clean off my dry brush. Let's switch it back over here. I'm gonna grab a nice chunky brush. Truck is doing a wheelie again. It happens. Let's find a nice chunky brush right here. This one's been beat up pretty good. 
So I'm going to just take some silver. So this is going to be stainless steel. So this is a nice thick coat of silver, any old silver, just a nice silver will work. Be a little careful. I don't want to be super careful on the edges. I'm going to use some washes and stuff here in a little bit. So if I if I mess up, it's not a dire situation. So I'm only going to paint the stainless steel because um, I'm going to use a different technique on the stainless steel versus the uh, the aluminum or chrome for the hubcaps and uh, engine panel and fixtures and all that. So we're just going to focus on the stainless steel today. I love the stainless steel sides of taco trucks when we were designing the taco truck. I definitely looked at a whole bunch of taco trucks and I had taco truck dreams for days. Um, but you want that nice stainless steel side. Thurston, did you airbrush those spots on the black metal or is it blended? It's a, it's a hybrid. So I did like a quick airbrush just to establish some uh, areas. And then I did a quick uh, blend. Um, and then I did a quick edge highlight. So a little bit of both. Um, with practice, though, you can you can totally you don't need an airbrush. Like um, with practice, you can get pretty pretty smooth blends. But it's a it's it's a time consuming uh, technique to learn. Uh, two brush blending. Um, I like it because once you do learn it, it becomes a very fast technique. So it's it's like um, like washing is one of those techniques like. Um, has very immediate results. It doesn't take a lot to learn how to wash. You throw something, throw a dark color over chain mail, boom, you have contrast, right? Holy cow, I've done it. You get immediate success. Uh, some techniques like two brush blending, it's it's a process of like learning it, and then it's a very time consuming process to like um, uh, perfect. But once you do, then your painting actually gets faster. Um, I'm a much faster painter with the two brush blend than I ever was with any other technique. Um, and I, I'm a pretty fast painter. But that two brush like definitely makes you or allows you to become um, very quick in your applications. So once again, this is just a pretty chunky base coat. You can't see what I'm doing. I got to turn to my side. You know, I'm just painting some silver. I'll try to hold my hand up above so you can see. The Pagani has expertise at Texas taco trucks. Yeah, yeah. We always need the Pagani's expertise. That's why it's the expertise. Never waste a resource. Never waste a resource. Combination plied or restricted cards. Pick any two. That's funny. Whoa. What size? The taco truck is size three, Greg. Um, it's on the bottom of the taco truck. Um, in case you don't believe me. Taco truck is a three. Remember, size isn't necessarily size. Like size incorporates a lot of things. It's it's a very, it's not a very arbitrary like system of measurement. It's you know we kind of like look at like, you know, you know it's like a it's like a ton it's like a, you know it's like feathers versus steel right the same volume, right of feathers does not equal the same weight of steel right. So if we, we look at size as like a, you know, you kind of look at the size, it's battlefield impact, it's line of sight, because all those things are kind of tied to the, the, the rules. So like, now I'm off on a tangent. 
It doesn't really matter. I'm just, why am I painting so lightly? Just throw a bunch of paint on there. It'll smooth out. Just like that. Just need a coat. Just need a coat of paint. And then we did that trim on the other side. Let's go ahead and frame this whole thing. Like that. And that little trim there. That's gonna give it a nice uh, framing, which means we need to do this side. Once again, this will be the stainless. And I'll do the other metallics a different color. That way we have like a lot of variations. If I, if you if you vary up the wet the the approach to your different metallics, you can get more effective uh, variation contrast. Right. So this will be a lot of blues and grays to make this look more like sand still, and then like the chrome or uh, aluminum, I'll use different colors to shade it. Right? I might use more blacks, I might use more, um, you know, no blues. I might, that way it feels like different metals. And it gives you that contrast. So, all right, so let's, let's write a couple things. What are, we, what are we putting on here? I got a couple different grays, a little bit of white. Grab all this together. Try to make a good chalk color. What's the very first thing we want on our menu? Squeeze this in nice and tight. Get my finger anchored. What are we putting on here? Mm, I'm not getting any quite any answers. What are we putting on here? No more white. Tacos. Just straight up tacos. Let's do to get my arms close. How do I want to do that? So sometimes I, th I gotta think about which direction I wanna move my brush. So do I wanna go down to up or up to down? Put a little heart. Let's put another little heart. Because tacos are love. Specials. Supposed to specials today. First off, tacos. We just need regular old tacos. So I always think about which direction my brush is going to move. It's not always the way I would write because like I want to think about how that brush tip is going to meander. Tacos! How much is a taco?
Three dollar tacos. Sounds like a Seattle price. Three dollars. <throat> Let's do chimichanga. Which I gotta think about. That's a long word on a tiny place. I gotta think about my size and distance of letters. So sometimes you want to map it out. I'm going to I'm going to go with my gut. See, I didn't think about my brush stroke. I'm already in it. It's it's gonna say full on chimichanga. Let me get that good brush. So the secret to my brush is put on my finger and twist it. I call it sharpening the brush. Churros definitely needs to be on there. So I ran out of room a little bit, so I just shortened the word, or shortened the, the letter spacing. I'll use a dot for now on. Chimichanga's. $3. Everything is $3. Churros are definitely a dollar. C H U R R O. I use capital R's because they're easier to draw for me. Churros are one dollar. <coughs> we'll do. Bob's hot sauce. Bob's super hot. Sauce. That one got a little out of control, it's fine. One dollar. It's a lot of hot sauce, trust me. Oh yeah, extras make it spicy. What about vengeance? I saw somebody say vengeance. Vengeance is vengeance is free. Oh, gooey chewy 27, partial enchilada and then separated the whole enchilada. Mm -hmm.
Getting a little more paint on my brush, sorry. Put some stars around it. Maximum effort is 350. That star looks real bad. Octa Ferdinand's pineapple pizza. Pineapple pizza is my best pizza. I love that pizza. There's no wrong topping for pizza. I'm sorry. Hugh Jackman, $10. That's amazing. We got, I think we got space for one more or we can put like a picture. What do you think? Yeah, Mr. Gampour, I'm, I'm with you. I'm thinking, like, maybe we just draw a taco at the bottom. You always got to draw a picture of something at the bottom of a chalkboard. A unicorn, Deadpool eyes. B. Arthur. So like anywhere I don't feel like I did very well, I can go back and make adjustments. All right, let's think about the picture. We got to think about the picture. Let's take a little bit of red, a little bit of white, mix those together. That makes pink. Take a little bit of gray, put it in there, desaturate it. Um, the reason I'm going to desaturate this is because if you think about chalk, chalk is very, very, very um, desaturated. So I'm going to put a little bit of pink in these hearts. And they're going to need a separate line probably to make them stand out from one another. Oh, Atomic Mass Graffiti? I mean, of course I like that idea, so. Fortunately, I know exactly what this guy looks like.
then we can color that in in a little bit. Shik says maximum effort should cost more than 350. Would 850 work? Because it's really easy to turn that three into an eight. Would that is that is that acceptable? Is that acceptable price for maximum efforts? I'm waiting for him to answer. We'll take some yellow. Once again, a little white. Once again, a little gray. Mix that all together. Gets a very de desaturated. I have, don't have room for a one, I don't think. If I go up and down, I kind of get that like line effect of like chalk. Yeah, there's a there's a discount on maximum effort today. These eyes should be black. We'll put some highlights in, maybe. All right, let's grab another brush. Now, we got 30 minutes. We still got 30 minutes. We're doing pretty good today. So I'm gonna grab uh, some light gray, maybe a bit of blue. Now we're going to gently start shading in that stainless. So let's start top. And use that second brush. I'm going to drag it down. Second brush is a little damp. Drag it down. I don't care right now that I kind of got it on that trim. That doesn't matter right this second. Let's do the bottom. Let's drag it up. This is not going to be perfect. I'm not trying to be perfect. Metallic reflections are kind of erratic and wild so unless you want to spend a bunch of time like thinking about exactly how the light's going to fall on the element that's going to let it be weird and erratic just l let it kind of be imperfect And all this is doing is dulling down that 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 bright silver color, right? Because we're trying to replicate 
um, galvanized steel. So it's very dull. It's a very dull metallic. So by stretching this out, you still get the metallic color underneath. Without removing the metallic, right? This is increasing the metallosity. Um, and if you're really interested in metallosity, we might be, I might be doing a whole conversation on that in our upcoming AMG, I can't remember what shit keeps calling it. I call it the AMG Palooza that we've been talking about. Yeah, metalosity is my favorite word. Uh, Durzim, it's not a it's not a light silver. It's actually just gray. Uh, it's like a very blue gray, and it's very thin. And then by stretching it out, you thin it even more and create gradient, and that's what gives it that effect. Since we got some diagonal patterns here, maybe throw a little like right across the diagonal pattern and stretch it out to accentuate that diagonal power. Let's go to the other side because we still got some over there. Has Dallas slyly teased Colossus? Pull of death. If if Dallas was going to tease Colossus, it wouldn't be sly. shadow right there just think of it as shadow right it's a very light color but with the very metallic color of the the silver you don't need a dark shadow you just need to uh, create contrast like that's typically when you think of shadow and light you're thinking of contrast and there's multiple types of contrast there's hot cold there's, uh, you know, light, dark, uh, soft, hard. There's also reflective. So uh, shiny, not shiny. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase contrast by removing shine in some areas, maintaining shine in other areas, and that's going to give that, me that contrast or that shadow. And I made a mistake there, but that's okay. We can we can cover that with something. And then we can take a very dark color, darker color. Once again, we're going to thin it out just a touch. Go back to the front. Make sure everything is dry. And put in just a little bit. This is a very blue gray. And I'm just going to push that those edges and corners of the metal down. Once again, this is to reduce the reflectiveness. It makes it look more metally. Metalosity, the philosophy of metalosity is sometimes more or less metal makes it look more metal. So it's learning how to do that. Right? You need the you need the unreflective dark areas of metal to make the bright shiny areas look more metal.
the light and dark, the balance. See, that's just making it look more metallic. Drag that out. I'm just going to do this wherever I want. Just kind of make it up. Just kind of go with the flow. You know, just making decisions as we go. Anywhere I think it might be visually interesting to see it. Very irregular patterns even. Gives it that warbliness. We should get uh, Shane by way. We should get the Atomic Mass Game Robot as a promo character in Ultimate Encounter. I like the way you think. Here's a handsome robot. Once again on this side, just playing with that blue, stretching it out, letting the imperfections flow. Maybe around this wheel well. Something like that. Definitely up underneath the the way that's shaped. You want to kill all the, sh not all the shine, but we want to darken that underside. Did we decide what our front picture is going to, or wait, we got the robot. We need to add some color to him. I got 15 minutes. We should do a taco plate. Let's start our taco plate. So that's a pretty good start. Like I might do one more dark uh, level of darkness and just like the deepest recesses and edges just to accentuate the shadows. But that's a pretty good start to my my taco sign and my uh, stainless steel. And like I said, this stainless steel really accentuates against that dark black and like adds a lot of personality and life to the taco truck. So there you go, that's where we're, whoop, that's where we're at. Maximum effort, 350. Yeah, I might, I might change the, the, the eyes and the hearts on the robot. Let's do this. I'm gonna have to move my camera just a touch. Please hold. There we go, and taco plate. That's a plate of tacos.
All right, let's paint some tacos here. I might pull that in just a little bit. So I got some yellows, some ochres, some browns. We're just gonna start laying some colors on our tacos. These should be golden and delicious. Maybe a little more golden. Let that dry. Let's uh, keep the cup black I think let's add some grays some whites let's do a quick highlight on that cup I got that little lip Maybe another, let's do like a highlight down the side. Cause I think we want the cup to be black and then we can put a logo on it. So we need like a little logo for the cup. So I imagine that the, that's the seam that goes down the side of a cup where the two sides come together. Plus it gives us a little side bounce highlight. I'm going black for maximum contrast there, Mr. Gavinport. It's not about logic. It's about dopeness. Let's make a nice, I think this is going to be like a, this should be a cherry drink. A delicious cherry flavored or cream, oh, it's cream. Cream cola. So let's make some brown, red, black, white. Let's just drop that in there. I'm gonna leave like a little bit of rim of black. Oh, maybe it is a cup of horchata. Uh, I'm using a, I'm using a size two paintbrush. I'm using a, just a uh, size two brush, a watercolor brush. Just any good watercolor brush, uh, Kalinsky Sable. What I always look for, we, you know, I get asked this a lot. Uh, I always look for like a nice round, thick belly on my brush, and a nice, uh, very nice sharp point. So those are kind of like the key essentials for me for a good brush. Um, I know some people like smaller bellies on their brush. Um, I like the big belly because it holds more paint and keeps the paint wet and loose. All right, let's take some white and really add it to our horchata color. I'm gonna use this white and I'm gonna just highlight those little ice cubes. Couple 
couple of delicious ice cubes floating in Hartrana. Just tapping those just to get that little bit of ice. I'll stretch to some greens. Of course, any good taco. Need some lettuce. My paint's nice and thin, so it flows, but that might mean I need to do a coat or two. We need a logo for our cup still. I'm not gonna paint the backside of these tacos. They're gonna be glued onto the truck. How about I just blop a big blop of green on there? You know what? Clean it up, blend it out. There, it's a highlight. Boom. That lettuce is kind of sticking out. Just like that. Shade the taco. I'm just going to use our horchata color. Just put some of that nice golden brown deliciousness on our taco make it look uneven so it looks like it was you know maybe it was freshly toasted maybe one more dot of white on those ice cubes I really want the ice cubes to pop like that Grab a little silver, which you already had out for the truck. I don't know about you, but my favorite taco trucks have uh, steel, stainless steel trays. If your taco truck doesn't have a stainless steel tray, then you go find yourself a new taco truck. I don't know if that's true. I don't. I don't think my taco truck, actually, the taco truck I go to, has stainless steel trays. They should though. It's quality. Let's go around that edge. Let's go around that edge. Nice silver line. Plus, it makes a great weapon for uh, one Mr. Wade Wilson. To utilize better than a plastic tray. So we're tray. A little more yellow. Kick it up. Let's highlight those taco shells. So for this, I'm just going to use some little dots. Kind of show that like texture of the taco. Delicious taco -y texture. Just little dots, kind of keep them sporadic, erratic. Accentuate that crease, the taco fold. Do this back one. I'm only going to do like the top edge because only that's going to be showing. It's 
something like that. Kick it up a notch, one more highlight, add more white. Oh, that's too white. Wow, wow, wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now we got some tacos. Same thing on our lettuce. Bring in some greens. Take and accentuate. That's a pretty powerful green. I love it. It looks like butter lettuce, which I love. I made some BLTs the other night with butter lettuce. Man, they were good. And then take a little bit of red. couple of little dots here and there. Maybe it's tomatoes. Maybe it's some uh, salsa drops. A little extra hot sauce. You know it's hot sauce. My kid would kill me if it wasn't hot sauce. As we are wont to say, make it spicy, Bob. All right, let's take some uh, grays. Let's shade our tray. Once again, we're using the same same philosophy here. The tray should be metal, but it should be a very dull metal. It's not a super shiny metal. So I want to dull that down, creating that contrast. I think we're out of time. I'm not going to be able to paint my cup. My, the overlords will, the stream overlords is going to tell me to stop painting. We still got napkins to paint, but that's fine. Those are just napkins. Next week, next week, no. Next week we got, we got stuff special next week. A little highlight around my cup, make it look crimpled. It's got that little crimp cup edge. Still don't have a logo for it. That's not what's on the menu. Tacos are not on the menu next week, chick. Look at them tacos. Delicious. That's got dry. It's two o'clock. It's almost time to pack it up. Pack it in. Now that we've got the shapes, we can refine. I never try to paint what I want in the very beginning. I like getting a base and then refining that. You know, getting a good starting point and then refine. That's how you do it.
And of course this taco needs to be yellow as well. And I'm just going to keep refining this. Maybe it's not quite the shape I wanted. But that's okay. That's what we do. You know, you get a rough start and uh, you just refine it. You develop the idea. I gotta make his head wider or I'll get in trouble. He's got a wide head, not a skinny head. This poor robot went through how many iterations? Several iterations. So, gotta make sure he's got the wide head. Throw a little yellow down here for a torso. Delicious yellow taco. And we'll just keep refining and do it all. All right, so we've gone over a little bit. That's okay. We've got a really great start. Let's lower my gimbal. So we've talked a lot about like metals, how to create like a lot of nice metal effects, uh, freehand, having fun with freehand and just kind of getting in there and just giving it your best and it's okay to mess it up. My words aren't perfect. My letters aren't perfect. It doesn't matter. It looks it looks cool and it's a lot of fun. And we painted some tacos today. So, you know, overall, I think it was a highly successful uh, paint jam. i switch it back. So, join us every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for Atomic Mass Transmissions Lives. Um, tomorrow is Mr. John Schaefer. I'm sure he'll be painting something really neat. Tuesdays, Mr. William Schick. Wednesdays. Mr. William Schick, and Thursdays, yours truly. Uh, join us. We always do all kinds of fun painting and talking, to, uh, talking, hanging out with the community and doing all kinds of fun stuff. So um, hopefully everything was informative and informational and inspirational. And until next time, next week, I'll see you later. Bye, heroes. Stay safe. I'm switching it over to the standby, singing my little song as we're leaving the stream. Everybody saying goodbye. We made taco plate today.